This is the sea, as old as the world itself. Give or take. It extends over three quarters of the surface of the globe. The sea, the birthplace of life, the great storehouse of minerals, the prison of haunting mysteries. The wet place. The ocean is a dangerous jungle. Each creature preys relentlessly upon another. What? I'm just sitting here. Each animal is equipped with an effective weapon. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> Camouflage. Knife-like teeth. Poison. It's summer deal days down at Red Lobster. Enjoy this stock footage, folks. Something tells me this is the only genuine drama we're going to get for the next hour. You know, this just plays into our stereotypes about sharks and octopi. Oh, sorry, that was me. That was me. You know, this all started with a yo mama joke. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. I gotta go get jumped by Lost. Way to put the puss in octopus, buddy. Since time began, the ocean has withheld its secrets. Man has ventured merely to its threshold. Oceanographers have, with precise instruments, presented us with a framework of facts. Around these facts, our imaginations reconstruct the eerie, forbidding atmosphere of the deep. All state is there. Scientists, working with sonic equipment, discovered a mysterious layer which returned an answer to sound waves. This layer measured over 300 miles and lay 1,500 feet below the surface. This is Bikini Bottom. It was soon noted that the phantom layer rose to the surface at night and descended to the deep water in the daytime. Oh, like Janine Garofalo. It is composed of living creatures capable of locomotion that are apparently strongly repelled by sunlight. Tweens? Some oceanographers believe the layer to be made up of plankton. Others suggest that it is a gigantic concentration of fish. Pictured here. The most startling theory about the phantom layer is that it is composed of millions of squid. This theory is supported by the fact that squid are tremendously abundant. Little known squid fact, they invented Gorilla Glue. As the sun's rays become weak and soon turn into complete darkness, the fish are all black, brown, or silver. In the blackness of the deep sea, the strange phenomenon of luminescence is found. Lacking. Half the fish that inhabit the darkened waters are able to turn their luminous torches on or off at will. Lower forms of life are known to have this luminous ability as well. Bloggers, for example. Some fish have rows of lights. Perhaps these are signals, signs of recognition. The deep sea squid ejects a fluid which becomes luminous, Ew. a counterpart to the ink ejected by his cousin who lives in shallow water. My cousin Gary ejects luminous fluids, the but I don't go making movies about it. The in the black world are enlarged and protruding, making the most of the intermittent lights which may reach them. On the other hand, some animals have no eyes at all. They have developed and perfected antenna and feelers. Their entire world is known to them through the sense of touch. Scientists call this icky. Several years ago, a fish was caught alive off the southeast tip of Africa. It was an amazing sight. This animal was supposed to have been dead for at least 60 million years. Give or take 60 million. After this discovery, they found the frill shark. He lived 25 to 30 million years ago. Imagine the tax debt. Perhaps there are other such anachronisms to be found in this region about which we know so little other links with the past. Perhaps we can find the answers to many of these questions. We are now prepared to invade this black wilderness. That sounds filthy, but okay. As you can see, the United Way is doing some great work underwater. This must be the stock footage society. I hope you enjoyed the picture. 